Hi, this is Jay Gosuiko with Sierra Tahoe Ski Patrol and RodSavage.com. In this episode, I'm going to tell you the difference between an aortic dissection and a abdominal aortic aneurysm. Um, in one of my earlier episodes, I basically explained why one happens in the other. I got a couple of feed, uh, couple of comments that wanted me to explain it in a little bit more detail and uh, focus in on it. So here you go. All right. So. Um, a lot of people have heard about triple A's. Triple A's happen down here. A, A, A. Triple A. That's a abdominal aortic aneurysm. Not to be confused with what happens up here. Up here is a aortic dissection. And this is the reason why the aortic dissection, unless it's a congenital defect, an aortic dissection happens up here, then, and a abdominal aneurysm, aortic aneurysm, happens down here. The dissection happens up here because the clavicles, the rib cage, the heart, and the lungs all press down on the aorta. So being the compact, they, the aorta stays in its shape. Down here in the abdomen, there's no pressure on this whatsoever. And so what you have is a little ballooning out in the abdomen. That's uh, three-dimensional. It could balloon out backwards, forwards, or circumferential, or it could balloon out to, um, to one of the sides. So that's why an aneurysm happens in the abdomen and a dissection happens in the aorta. What's also important is to know your anatomy and physiology. So your aorta, your aortic tree, comes out here. This is going to the right arm. So all the blood flow is going to the right arm. This over here feeds your left arm. So a dissection happens, I'm going to use purple, a dissection happens, as in my earlier episode, is the heart pumps blood pressure up into the rest of the arms and legs. Um, if this was a very poorly designed aorta and it got old and hard and um, very uh, stenotic, didn't didn't bounce back very well. What would happen here is on the inside of the aorta, because of the blood pressure and years of high blood pressure, HPN, hypertension, the heart pumps it up into this area forming a little hangnail. When that hangnail gets, starts to get formed, more blood pressure, more pumping, makes that hangnail bigger. That hangnail gets bigger and bigger eventually forms into a windsock. And all your blood pressure goes up into that windsock instead of trickling around to the side. Therefore, when you have someone who has a history of hypertension and you suspect an aortic dissection, or you have time to do a blood pressure on the right side and left side, and you find that you have a higher blood pressure on the right side than on the left side, you will have one of the symptoms of an aortic dissection. When you have a blood pressure that is significantly higher on the right side than on the left. So with someone with hypertension, I would expect that this blood pressure is going to be above 150 systolic and probably above 90 diastolic on the right side. And by significantly, when I do a blood pressure on the left side, I'll all of a sudden, just out of either curiosity or surprise, I'll find a blood pressure in the 110s or 90s. So 90s to 110s over about the same diastolic. Diastolic is going to be the same 
it's the systolic that's significantly lower on the left side than on the right side. So again, this is an aortic dissection that happens here, and an aneurysm down here um, isn't going to have the big shift. It's going to have the same. Um, it's going to have the same blood pressure right and left. It's probably going to be a hypertensive blood pressure. It's probably going to be in the 150s range, both or above, both right side and left side. It's probably going to be a high diastolic, above 90, on both right side and left side. Absolutely concerning if this diastolic blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure, was above 120. That's going into a hypertensive crisis situation where one of these issues could, um, could cause a very, a very quick death. Um, they're treated completely differently. So with this one, with an aortic dissection, you're going to treat that with um, initially on the medic, nitroglycerin. You'll have to go, you might have to look at your uh, base orders because uh, sometimes uh, nitroglycerin comes from your, um, your physician and it's not part of your protocol. So follow your protocol. But this one's going to require a lowering of blood pressure. Right? This one, you're going to want to lower the blood pressure. It's fairly important, especially if it's a super high blood pressure. You're going to want to lower the blood pressure, but you're going to want two large bore IVs. Large bore IVs because when this blows, you only have a few seconds to get this person to the hospital and, um, and save this person's life. They're going to probably go in and um, put a graft, a tunnel on the outside of this. So uh, this one's going to require surgery. Before it requires surgery, they're going to have to, they're probably going to transfuse with lots of blood. So you treat this one with fluid and blood, uh, blood once you get to the hospital. But uh, be careful of the blood pressure. All right, so anyway, there you go, an aortic dissection and a triple A. Come see my friend, Roz Savage. Um, I'm promoting her. And of course, this is uh, Jay Gosuika with Sierra Tahoe Ski Patrol. We wear the vest, we're the best. Shaka. <laughs>